I have a surprise. <laughs> this is Noodles. <laughs> Noodles is the newest member of our little boo crew here. <laughs> She hasn't been upstairs in my office yet, so she's probably like, what is this? Where am I? <laughs> Noodles is a cute little bearded dragon. She's still a baby, as you can probably tell. I was actually looking to adopt or rehome or rescue an adult beardy, but I actually found her in Nashville and they had her in an environment with another bearded dragon that didn't really like her. And she ended up um, getting multiple toes chewed off of the backs of her, her feet. So she's missing many toes on her back couple of feet. I had to treat her, make sure she didn't get any infections or anything because of that. So she's our little baby beardy that we rescued. So I just wanted to introduce you all to little nudes. I'm so happy to have her and she's such a cutie. And I'm probably gonna go feed her some roaches now. So say bye bye nudes. <laughs> she's looking like what is happening here today? <laughs> but without further ado, my little armadillos, the thing we've all been waiting for. Pokemon! <laughs> In this illustrious, beautiful package contains sneak peek cards from Chilling Rain. I'm so excited to, to have this package and to actually be able to preview these cards with you all. So let's just jump into this. I'm super hyped and I cannot contain myself any further, so let's do it! Let me cover up my address here so you don't attack me <laughs> in my home. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like stuck on some- okay, there we go, there we go. <gasps> oh! The spirit tomb! The spirit tomb! Oh my goodness. Okay, wow. This is scary. I thought- I thought there would be, oh my gosh, the set symbol. Oh, okay, I'm freaking out. Okay, okay. I thought there would be like some sort of buffer in between. I wasn't actually expecting like a card here. Holy smokes. All right, let's see if Boo can open this little plastic thing. Uh, wow, there, I, there's actually tape on it. So that would help. Lift it up and we will check out the card. All right, here we go. First card. Check this baby out, Spear Tomb. I mean, there's not many ways you can do Spear Tomb, let's be real. He's always just a pink blob in every single artwork that he has, so. <laughs> but check out this set symbol. Oh my goodness, absolutely gorgeous set symbol. Looks like a little crown. So Spear Tomb, we have ghostly cries for each Pokemon in your opponent's discard pile. Put one damage counter on your opponent's Pokemon any way you like. If you place any damage counters in this way, your opponent shuffles all Pokemon from their discard pile into their deck. Why I was saying the Spear Tomb was because this Spear Tomb uh, was released or the the actual card and its ability was released and it is the mad party Assassinator pretty much so this card alone uh, Gets rid of mad party mad party is all about putting Pokemon into your discard pile to um, Do more damage or additional damage and if all of those Pokemon get shuffled back into your deck you're Roasted Toasted Ruby Tuesdays, so this card alone can absolutely just eliminate- Oh, it's on both sides. What? Oh, that's trippy. It's two of them. Double Spirit Tomb. Double Shrimp Combo. Anyway, so yeah, this card will absolutely destroy Mad Party, essentially. It gets rid of the entire purpose of that deck uh, in one card, so good on you, Spirit Tomb. And then, of course, Will-O-Wisp, the useless move uh, for 20. So that is our first card. Let's get into our next one. I'm gonna guess from that being the first card, Pokemon probably sent cards that are somewhat game Game changing to the meta people uh, cards people are excited about so that's just a guess from there because people have been talking about the spear tomb for a hot minute I've known about the ability of that spear tomb for or not the ability but the move of that spear tomb for a while here we go little squirrel little bean burrito uh, Greedent is a creepy Pokemon in my opinion I dislike it quite a bit I think it's scary looking <laughs> 
Hiya! I don't want to see this face in my dreams, or should I say nightmares? Uh, <laughs> but nonetheless, it is a card that we have been seeing quite a lot, actually, in Sword and Shield so far. Energy attached to your Pokemon can't be put... Wait, wait. Energy attached to your Pokemon can't be put into your hand, deck, or discard pile by an effect of your opponent's item or supporter cards? Greedent, our lord and savior, oh my gosh, the defeater, the slayer of Crushing Hammer. Oh my goodness, Greedent, absolute MVP. Crushing Hammer has been a card in the meta that has just absolutely been destroying people's uh, wills to live. Essentially, it is an absolute terrible card. Number one, it's a coin flip card, which means it's only a 50-50 chance you actually get to use the card effectively and coin flip cards don't really require skill they require luck so normally a lot of people just don't like coin flip cards for that reason alone but the fact that this coin flip card can absolutely destroy a game that you're playing is so so terrible it feels so bad when it happens when you're playing pokemon you only get one energy attached uh, hard energy attached per turn so it can be very very bad if your energy acceleration gets uh, delayed in any way, you're you know that much further behind in the game. So crushing hammers delay your energy attachment, delay your attacks, and pretty much lose you the game. So this actually prevents crushing hammers. This would stop that. Um, it is a stage one, so it's a very circumstantial card. Off the top of my head, I can't really think of a deck this would go straight into. Um, I guess it's just if you're that scared of getting hit by crushing hammers, of losing to crushing hammers, um, and you have room in your deck, you might be able to fit it. But unfortunately, I don't actually think a lot of decks will have room for a greedent line in them, which is kind of a bummer. But hopefully this card alone being out there um, makes people not play Crushing Hammer as often just because they're like, well, they might be playing Greedent. Who knows? There we go. Our Lord and Savior, Credence. Oh, feels so good to have some sort of buffer between a Crushing Hammer. All right, let's see. Let's check out our next card. Ooh, a stadium. Yo, I dig it. Very simple. Simplistic design here, snowy forest, you gotta love it. The snowy forest just needs a boo, and it's complete. Uh, <laughs> Pokemon with a rule box in play, both yours and your opponents, have no abilities. <gasps> what? Oh, that's spicy. That's real spicy. I like this. I like this quite a bit. This card is actually insane. Like this is absolutely bananas. So Power Plant is the card that we currently have and Power Plant was bananas as well in the format. It shut down Mew Mew 2, which was dominating the format for quite a while to the point where people were having to play so many counters to stadiums because their Mew Mew 2s would just not work because Power Plant was in play. And then Chaotic Swell came and sort of changed things up a bit. Chaotic Swell ate the stadium you tried to put out there. So Power Plant wasn't as effective anymore unfortunately but we are losing chaotic swell and this path to the peak is the way this is the way of the future of the meta <laughs> if you're confused a rule box is pretty much v uh, pokemon v max pokemon anything that's not a single prize pokemon like this it'll have a little thing on the bottom here they'll say rule box on it so Crobat would no longer be able to use its ability, Eternatus VMAX. Literally any V or VMAX would not have an ability anymore with this stadium card in play. So this is absolutely insanely, insanely good. This is especially good for decks that are one prize Pokemon, people who play things that are not rule box Pokemon, uh, and you don't have to worry about not having an ability because you don't even have that Pokemon in your deck. <laughs> so this is amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy about this. Wow, and it looks beautiful too. 
Next card, here we go. I like this too because it's helping me point out to you like what cards to look forward to in this set. If you open booster boxes and everything of Chilling Rain, uh, look out for these cards because they're important cards. Um, all right. <gasps> Impact energy. Whoa, that is bright. Ooh, baby. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, but provides only one energy at a time. Okay, cool. So this is, oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. The Pokemon this card is attached to can't be poisoned. And if it is already poisoned, it recovers from that special condition. What? So this is essentially a rainbow energy or an aurora energy for single strike Pokemon, but it has a little spice in there that you also can't take poison, which is kind of interesting. That must mean there there's like poison cards that are coming up, uh, who knows, in the formats? I don't know. We don't have any like super crazy poison decks right now, unless you're talking about like poison Eternatus, I suppose. But this is very interesting. So you can't be poisoned. And it's a rainbow energy, so you can kind of mix and match uh, what it's used for. You get to pick what energy you choose. All right, and let's check out our next card. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so this is, I'm guessing, just the, the counter, or not the counter, the counterpart, I suppose, to single strike. We have a spiral energy, which is our rapid strike energy. Well, I actually like the design way more on the rapid strike. I think it is super pretty. <gasps> it just looks like unicorns. Pokemon, this card is attached to cannot be paralyzed. Ooh, and if it's already paralyzed, it recovers from that special condition. Wow, so right off the bat here, I think this is better than impact energy, simply because we have more um, detrimental paralysis in the format with Picarom. Picarom plays uh, Choo Choo, a Lolan Raichu and Raichu tag team card. And if you get stuck in a paralysis loop because of that Choo Choo card, you might lose the game. So I've lost many games because of that card. Um, so this would actually stop that altogether. It would stop you from getting paralyzed, and if you are paralyzed, it would unparalyze you if you have in your hand to play down. And it counts as an energy, which is really cool. So there we go, rapid strike, boom, spiral energy, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, my goobs, and that is it for our cards today that we got to preview of this set. I love this. These are some game-changing uh, meta cards. I think they're really cool. I think the card I like most out of this is actually the Stadium. I think this is going to be the most highly played card out of all of these that uh, Pokemon sent for me to preview. This one is is insane. This is going to be absolutely amazing to see. It spices things up. It really changes the way uh, people deck build and play. And it adds a lot of strategy into the game, which I absolutely love. So I'm very, very happy. Broken card. All right, my goobs, thank you so much for popping by this video. That was really cool to be able to display some cards to y'all, see the cards for the first time. I'm so excited for Chilling Rain. I just so happen to have this bad boy right here. I've been waiting to open this. I can't wait to show you all. Oh, it's just been sitting next to me, driving me absolutely bananas. So I'm going to open this for our next video. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye!